Hey guys, it's Galaxy today with another Minecraft Skyblock video. And as you can see, I I'm wearing this new armor set um called Glaciate, um which you which is in the new Dwarven Mine um update that just released and as you can see I'm getting 90 XP per break from each and it and all that well that's modern my lobby wow uh, but there's like this is just the upper mine section here there's all these different kind of areas where you can mine they have like similar they have like the same blocks. The grey ball is the easiest to break, but also give the least amount of mithril. Then it's these two types of prismarine, like the prismarine and then prismarine bricks. And the blue wool is the hardest, but you get the most mithril from it. There's now mithril pickaxes and titanium pickaxes. And there's um, breaking power, that kind of thing, that um, pretty much determines what things you can break with a pickaxe. Breaking power five can allow you to, pretty, to my knowledge, break every single block that you want. Um, there's the heart of the mountain with these different tiers, and the um, upgrades for these for the skill tree here um the one the if you want to know the tier that you need to unlock it it's um parallel to the tier so i could um unlock all of these but i don't have enough token of the mountains um to unlock all of them and all that um uh, there's a new collection in mining called Mithril. It's gonna take a while to max it out. And apparently the legendary Mithril Golem Pet is really overpowered for manually grinding it. Um, Mithril. So, um, and there's also mi a Mithril Minion that can go up to tier 12. And, pr and all the other ore based minions so like diamond, lapis, redstone, coal, obsidian and cobblestone. These are the only two exceptions that aren't strictly ore based but um it's kind of weird that like I would have suspected just mining minions in general would have gone up a tier with all of it so like red like the ore based snow minions, cobble, obsidian, glowstone, that kind of stuff. Um, and currently there's a bug um, where you can't insta break pumpkins and it's like cobblestone and all that kind of stuff. They reworked mining, which there's now mining fortune, same with farming and foraging, but they've nerfed um, farming. A ton which is like it was a lot better than but there now because um say if you're grinding nether water at maximum efficiency before the dwarven mine update you'd get about six to seven mil an hour and um now you barely even get two mil an hour so that's kind of annoying Mining is pr um, not mining. Farming is pretty much destroyed and pretty much impossible to do without just spamming hyper catalysts and tier 11 melon minions because the only decent way to get XP is pumpkins and melons, and that you can't actually do that because they go don't insta break. Um, Apparently, they're 
works uh, fixing the insta break problem but they really need to put the um, farming back to how it was before even though it was a big contributor to inflation like more than the other skills but like farming for the moment um well it has been like one one of the only decent ways for early to mid game players to get any amount of money and it just like helps the uh, um like game players get the expensive stuff um and that kind of thing and and only for the fur only for like say a week or two at most mining is going to be the best skill to work on and get money but apart from that there's going to be no decent skill whatsoever to level up while um, doing it like getting good amount of money apart from com technically combat with 4-7 dungeons but honestly how many um, people play 4-7 dungeons with uh, floor 7 gear and that kind of stuff and that because it's like really expensive than that um there's also I believe up three new talismans but once in a crafting recipe for the next tier of it this is the king talisman which you get from talking to all the kings there's um if you go to the if we go to the forge area um, I believe it's when we talk to him, um, the titanium talisman and then there's a upgrade to this to make it a, um, rare one. Those are the only two new talismans that I know of. There's also 11, um, what's we call it? fairy souls in here but there's one near the entrance up um like see up there it would be like something up in the sky and that for when you first come into the dwarven mine so yeah so if you guys did enjoy Please sub, like, and all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.